Hi there everyone, in this little video I'm going to show you how to train your dragon or how to install your dragon into your uh, hang along tank to stop that dreaded tank recoil. Okay, first up we have here, uh, well I've obviously pulled my RX-18 out of my tank, I've I hooked it up on my control board here. First thing we're going to do is turn on the tank. What I want to show you is uh, the, the recoil and that everything's working and then I'll uh, install the dragon and show you what differences occur. Okay, tank is on. Well, we all know that everything's connected up. You should be able to move forward and backwards your motors. Okay? No problems there. And when we fire, you'll see the rock back and forwards of the motors. Like that. Okay, and again, and that's what we want to eliminate. Okay, so what you need to do, first thing you need to do is cut the red wire. I've already cut it to save some time here. Okay, the red wire is cut. Take off a bit of insulation so you expose the, uh, the copper, of course. Okay, now it's a simple matter of just installing that into our dragon. So take one end, place it in one of these terminal blocks. Doesn't matter which terminal block you use. The only thing that matters is that you use the same terminal block for the same motor. Okay. Now make sure that is in nice and secure and that contacts are made. Now we'll install the other side into the same contact block. That's very important. And connect him up like so. Now the switch, the relay switch that operates on the Dragon, okay, is, should be, well, it will be permanently on. So even with this connected, the motor should work fine. So as you see, we can still have forward, we still have reverse, and we'll still have the recoil. Okay? So the motor, the switch here, the relay switch on here, only operates when it receives a signal. Okay? So if there's anything wrong with the Dragon, it should still allow you to operate your tank. Now to set that uh, signal up, you need your Dragon lead. Okay? It'll come with 5-pin connector on one end, and your 3-pin connector on the other end. This end connects up to the Dragon. This 5-pin connector connects to your IR port. Okay, there's only one way it can go in. So he connects in like that. Now this connector, it can connects up to your Dragon. Now it can connect one of two ways. You can connect it that way, which is the wrong way, or that way, which is the correct way. The way to tell is that the yellow wire, the signal wire, is to the outermost of the Dragon. Okay, that's very important. So connect the Dragon like so. With the signal wire to the outside. Okay. Plonk him on there. Oh, he's gonna, not gonna, he's gonna move. Okay. Now, we should have recoil blocking. We'll just check to see that we've got uh, motors still able to run forward and reverse. Okay, happy with that. Now we're going to fire. And as you can see, the recoil action is now completely blocked by the Dragon. No soldering. All that was required was a simple cut of the red wire. And again, the, uh, we've still got our forward and reverse. So that's the Dragon for you hopefully um, should make your installation and recoil blocking a lot simpler. Thank you.